Every four years, we told the same thing, that this is the most important election of our lifetime. But this one is. When we vote, our values are put into action and our voices are heard. Your voice is a reminder that you matter because you do and you deserve to be heard. I'm not a fan of hers. And uh, I would say this, and she probably has heard that, but uh, I wish a lot of luck to Harry because he's going to need it. You're not the only powerful woman, even in this in this community, who has had a sitting president take a shot at you, mobs come at you, powerful mm -hmm. people and powerful forces try to take you down or try to, to disparage your message. If you look back at anything that I've said, it's really interesting because it often ends up, what ends up being inflammatory, it seems, is people's interpretation of it. But if you listen to what I actually say, it's not controversial. And, um, and actually some of it is, is reactive to things that just haven't happened, which is in some ways, I think you have to have a sense of humor about it, even though there is quite a bit of gravity and there can be a lot of danger in a misinterpretation of something that was never there to begin with. But that again is a byproduct of what is happening right now for all of us. Hmm. Mm. Kristen, Kristen says for someone who wants to live a quiet life, she stayed involved in everything. I never understood why Trump had a problem with what she said. She literally says, go vote. <laughs> she didn't say anything she, about Trump, Trump specifically. Donald Trump has a problem. Donald Trump's knowledge of Meghan Markle is 100% based off of only reading what Pierce Morgan's has written about Meghan Markle. Right. That's it. That's it. Because he, follow, he follows him on Twitter and he just clicks the links whenever Pierce writes something. Donald Trump's entire opinion of Meghan Markle has been 100% formed by what and Pierce Morgan has written about her and only that. He has no other opinions. That's it. And quite frankly, I don't think Donald, I mean, we see the first lady, I don't think Donald's used to a woman, you know, being alpha in any way or just being outspoken and going against the grain. I don't think he's used to that. I understand that people get upset, you know, with Meghan because British royals are supposed to stay neutral on politics. You know, they still have their titles, but Meghan is American and, you know, she is removing herself from the royal family, but, and she's trying to take those steps, but she wants to use her voice and I just feel like she can't catch a break. I feel like she's been given such a hard time in the press and in the media and she hasn't committed a crime or done anything horrific right. for her to be vilified, but we treat her like it's cancel culture every single day and we have no real reason to cancel her. Um, I don't even think we know why we don't like her. I don't, I don't think people even really understand what that is. Um, and regardless of if you value Donald Trump's opinion or not, does hold a seat as the president of the United States. That is the country in which she was born. It's still really hurtful to have a president say, good luck to your husband and I'm not a fan of you. It's hurtful. I don't think Meghan has done anything other than going against, you know, the royal family protocol and whatnot. The type of energy we give Meghan in a negative way, the way we vilify her in the press, I think that should be reserved for people who do really horrific things. Um, not Megan. Like leave her, leave the girl alone. Like she just she just can't catch a break. That's just how it feels. Yeah. Wouldn't it have been amazing if Donald Trump had said, "Hey, the reason I don't like Meghan Markle is because historically royals are neutral and they don't usually come to their opinions." But he didn't. Uh, His opinion on her was he looked at her and went like this: "Meghan Markle, ugh, good luck, Harry." Like that's what he said. He, if he had said the other thing, you could actually somewhat understand. But he's like, "Who, Meghan Markle?" Ugh. <laughs> like. Yeah, he has nothing to say. Like that's the problem. No tap. Is everything he says is everything he says is a rental, not based on his own opinion. It's a based on the opinions that other people have of Meghan Markle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ray says love Meghan so much, classy, and brilliant, and kind, more fit a leader than a current president. Samantha says Meghan says go vote. Trump says vote, but it won't count because it's all fraud. Accusing <laughs> Donald Trump is such a dummy, and I'm proud. I'm proud of Meghan Markle for standing up for being such a strong, powerful, uh, beautiful woman. And and really to say that you know, oh, he saved the royals of remaining neutral. Harry said more stuff about Donald Trump than Meghan has. Remember that leaked phone call that happened? I don't know when that was, maybe a year and a half ago, where he really bashed Trump. But and Harry said more in that Time 100 thing than Meghan said. But Trump only went after Meghan. So once again, it's another indication. She's a woman. What's her ethnicity? Like, add it to the list, people. Like, you don't have to read.